b'shem ha'av ve'ha'ben ve'ruach ha'kodesh. Halalu ha'shilush ha'kadosh baruchu. Shalom, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to show you guys something that I thought was really cool. Where I'm at right now is in Exodus or Shemot, um, chapter 34, and we're going to go to verse number 6. What this says is, Waya avor Yahweh al penayu, Wayekra Yahweh, Yahweh el Rahum. Wehanun Erek Apim Werov Chesed Wehamet. Now I made a mistake here. That's actually Apim, not Wehapim. My mistake. Apim. I'm not sure why I mistranslated that. But anyway, let me uh, finish translating this. Wayovar Yahweh and past Yahweh Al Panayu. And what that means is in front of his face or before his face literally right in front of him now this is Moshe Moshe that we're talking about Moses and uh Moshe talked face to face with Yahweh why Yikra Yahweh proclaimed Yahweh Yahweh El Rahum now a lot of uh Arabic speakers or maybe even Muslims will see the immediate phonetic similarity between this and Rahim in uh, Arabic. Now what this says is El Rahum, a God merciful, Wahanun, gracious, Erek A Pim, slow to anger. Werav Chesed Weamet. These three words right here, Werav Chesed Weamet. These are very important because these mirror exactly what is said about Jesus Christ in John 1, 14. I'll show you guys that right now. Okay, well, here's my Hebrew New Testament translated from the Greek uh, Texas Receptus. And right now we're going to go to what is called, in these Hebrew characters right here, Habasora Hakadosha El P Yochanan. And what that means is the good news the holy good news of Yohanan, John. And we're going to go down to verse number 14. Hold up, got to find my place here. La -di -da -di -da. Why is this so hard all of a sudden? Here we go. Oh, nope. Right here. My mistake. Okay. Wechadavar nehaya bashar Washaken Betho Kenu Weneheze Thope Thoparathu Kithi Thereth Ben Yahid La Avio Whereof Chesed Well met. Now, um, let me go back to the beginning and translate this. Wachadavar, and the word hine besar, put on me or put on flesh. Wa yeshaken bathokenu, and he dwelt among us, or better yet, tabernacled among us. Wene chetze, and we seen the pa'arethu, his glory, glory of. Ben Yachid le Aviu, the son only of the father. Rav Chesed Weamet. Now, what is Rav Chesed Weamet? This phrase that showed up exactly in Exodus um, 34, verse 6. This means Rav, full or abounding in Chesed, good graciousness, good faithfulness, goodness, and benevolence is what that means. Rav full of chesed, goodness and benevolence, and we'amet, truth. Rav chesed we'amet. Now, um, this is used, this exact phraseology is used for Yahweh in um, Exodus 34, verse number 6, and I don't think it's a coincidence that it's used right in the beginning of the Gospel of John in the 14th verse, 
um, we beheld his glory, his glory only begotten of the Father, full of chesed, goodness and benevolence and truth, the way only Yahweh is explained in the uh, Old Testament. Well, anyway, shalom alechem, uh, beloved family in Christ. Uh, Yahweh bless you all. B'shem ha'av we'haben we'ruach hakodesh. Hallelujah. Amen.